Hi guys, welcome back to part 2 of my QKT video series where I try to help keyboard fans new and old find their ideal keyboard and help with as many things related to mechanical keyboards as I can. If you haven't yet, check out last week's video on why you need a mechanical keyboard in the first place and what sets them apart from the cheap rubber dome keyboards everyone uses nowadays. In today's video, I want to show you the three different types of mechanical switches you can get, tactile, clicky, and linear, and which of the three you might be most interested in to help you find the type of switch that's right for you. First off is tactile. Tactile means that when you press a key, there is a little bump in the feel at some point before the end where it gives in a bit essentially. This bump is there to help let you know that you press the key successfully, which is known as tactile feedback. If you don't have a mechanical keyboard yet, then the keyboard you're using right now is almost certainly tactile, because virtually all rubber dome and laptop keyboards are tactile. Tactile switches are usually not all that noisy, so in an open or shared office they're a nice choice as they still provide feedback, but without bothering other people. Some well-known tactile switches include Cherry MX Brown and Clear, Black Salmon and Orange Alps, Rubber Domes, and Topra. Second, there's Clicky. All Clicky switches also have a bump in the key travel, just like tactile switches, but unlike tactile switches, they have a special clicker mechanism to make a noise whenever you press a key, like this. Some tactile switches do make a lot of noise, but only because they bottom out loudly. So if you press them slowly, they don't make noise like this. Whereas the clickering clicky switches makes a noise even if you press them very slowly and before they reach the bottom of the key travel like this. The clicky noise gives extra auditory feedback on top of the tactile feedback, so they're great for typing. But they tend to be really loud, so if you have colleagues sitting nearby, they might not like it. Well-known clicky switches include Cherry MX Blue and Green, White and Blue Alps, and Buckling Springs, all of which have a distinctly different clicky sound. And finally, there's Linear. Linear switches have no bump or clicker. So they're fairly silent and the keys feel completely uninterrupted when you press them. They just get progressively stiffer. These switches are often preferred by gamers because they feel that the bump in tactile and clicky switches slows them down or distracts them. Because they give no feedback at all, typists tend to not like these too much. Although this is not set in stone. There's plenty of gamers that like clicky switches and typists that like linear ones. Some well-known linear switches are Cherry MX Red and Black, Green and Yellow Alps, and the old Honeywell Hall Effect switches. So, in summary, tactile switches you can feel, clicky switches you can feel and hear, and linear switches you can't feel and you can't hear. That's it for this video. Check back next time when we look at some of the different switch manufacturers. Neutralized.